So, Sarah, let's let's go back. So, this mm -hmm. started when you were quite young, around 16 or so. Is yeah, that right? yeah. So, when you were when you were a young woman, you you mm -hmm. used to go out. You used to obviously go on holiday. Yeah. You used to like to have a little town, but you used sunbeds as well. Is that right? Yeah. What I've... was it about the sunbeds? Do you know what? In I mean, I'm 51 now. So, when I was 16, 17, there wasn't really much knowledge. That's true. We used honest. to put lemon in our hair yeah, and everything. olive oil on our bodies. Didn't, well, you didn't. You were only four. <laughs> I'm only 12. <laughs> I'm okay. roughly the same age, so yeah. I understand. Yeah, there really wasn't the knowledge. Even my parents weren't really aware, you know. It's, oh, you're a bit red, put a T-shirt on. Yeah. Which, that, I think that's a lot of the, lot of the trouble. That... But, but now, of course, mm -hmm. it's, it's really prevalent. Everybody mm -hmm. talks about it. I mean, this morning, on, constantly talk about sunscreen mm. and the best ones to buy. So... Yeah. Why do you not use a skin factor, knowing that it's doing your skin damage? I actually do now. Right. You do now? Yes. What, what factor? I do. Um, I use Factor 50 on my face, or if I can get higher, well, where I had the cancer. Mm. Um, I must admit, I only really normally use about 10 on my body, which I'm trying to change. It mm. is like an addiction. Well, let, well let's, mm. let's go back, mm. actually, because it was 2016, you yeah. were diagnosed with a skin cancer. Yeah. You went to the doctors to have mm -hmm. a mole checked out, and the doctor noticed something on your face. Yeah. Is that right? What happened? To be fair, I, oh, it was a tiny blemish. It wasn't mm. coloured. It was under the skin. It'd been there a while. I didn't even really pay and much attention. And it was attention. just here on your... Yeah, just, just there. there. Just a small raised lump that had been there for a while. Um, he straight away recognised what it was, which really surprised me. Because to say, it wasn't coloured or anything. And it didn't bother you, didn't it? Did no, it was just or... there. It'd been and there what, for ages. What, what went through your mind when you thought, I've got skin cancer? Did it shock you? I was, well, I was speechless, really. Mm. I thought, no, he can't be. It's been there for a while, you know? Um, and as he said, can't. 99% it is by looking at it, but mm. we need to do a biopsy, so... And it did turn out that it was skin cancer. Yeah. You then went on to have two surgeries, yes. actually, for the skin cancer. But something that you said to, to mm. our research team actually really struck a bit of a chord, because before your second surgery, you actually delayed the second surgery so you could go on holiday yes. and get tanned. Oh, Sarah. What what was going what what made you think I'm gonna delay my second surgery for skin cancer from the sun right. to go on holiday? Well, because I knew the scar that I'd be getting. This had been arranged for a long time. Um, after that as well, I just felt like I needed to have a relax. So yeah. to me, well it's there. But is it, is it, does it go deeper than that? Because really, I'm thinking you're addicted to mm -hmm. tanning. Mm -hmm. So surely we should be looking at that kind of addiction and maybe you should be having, talking to somebody yeah. about that. Is it because you feel and think you look better? Yeah, I suppose it is. I mean, in all fairness, if I, it's the only time I feel like I relax if I'm laying down. I mean, I am trying, especially after seeing some photos, to become a bit more conscious now, mm. you know? And I say to everybody, don't do what I've done. Because more than that, it's your, it's your babies. You want to stay, mm. you want to stay alive yeah. and be around for your kids, don't you? And it's, and it can develop into something much more ominous if yeah. you carry on going. Yeah, I mean, as I say, when I was younger, there wasn't the knowledge. No, but now there, there is, is now. And yeah. with my children, um, I mean, I lost my son mm. um, in an accident. I'm sorry so, to hear that. Mm. Thank you. Maybe that's something to do with it. Where I'm a bit more blase. I'm a bit, you know. What What does your happens to me? Happens to what does your daughter them. say about it? Because obviously, you, I know you mm -hmm. still go on holiday, like you say. Yeah. Now you do put like a factor ten mm -hmm. on. I mean, the National Institute of Health says you should be using either a thick layer of fifteen, but ideally a thirty. Yeah. On yeah. on your skin, and I I completely understand. I mean, I'm very fair skinned so I'm literally like yeah. factor one hundred because I just burn. Do you? Yeah. I do. I'm really really bad, but I fake. Tan. Yeah. Why, yeah. Why would you not sit there and think I'm going to fake tan, especially after the skin? Yeah, I do. Improved. I do more now. I didn't because I used to hate it. I mean, it wasn't very nice then, was it? But well, I do, also, I do they, now. some of them can be really stinky. Yeah. Can't they? So I do understand that. Yeah. But the ev time and and mm. inventions of you know, it's all yeah. moved on. Oh so. yeah, I've, I've I've started to invest in a bit of that myself. Now. Yeah. Mm. You but you, do you still use the sunbeds? No. You don't? No, 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 never. And um, what, what would your advice be, obviously, because there are a lot of... quite an epidemic, especially uh -huh. up and down the country, with these sunbed shops that aren't manned and, yeah, you know, yeah. you just go in and pay as you go, things like that. Oh. What would your advice to be to sort of your 16-year-old self? No, don't do it, just never. don't do it. Mm -mm, and, uh, no. and does your daughter wear 
factor. Oh, Do you my, talk to her yes, about it? Yes, I've brought my kids up totally different. Mm. We've got the knowledge now. Yeah. Um, I always made sure mine were thick sunscreen. My daughter's not really a tanner. It doesn't... She takes it or leave, leaves it. She lived mm. in Spain and she was always the whitest one. And how, but how is your health now, though? Um, yeah, so far. And okay. do you still go and get your moles and things checked? Um, yeah, I do. As I say, I am a bit more relaxed because half the time I'm away with the fairies now after, <laughs> after losing But you've got to remember... I know, you've yeah. lost your son, but you've got your daughter. Yes, I have, So exactly. you've got to be there for her. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I listen, just and of course I do, she's lovely. We're glad you're, yeah. you're well now mm -hmm. and we do wish you the best, but Thank just get you. on the fake town. No, I'm going to. I definitely will. And um, as I say, I would say to anybody, just take care. Mm. All I've wanted to do really is just making awareness. Yeah. yeah. Don't be like me.